Because of the Empower Network, I got to retire, move to Thailand, and live a life of my complete design. But you see, life wasn't always like this for me. My name is Dakota McLaren, 19 years old, and I'm from Alberta, Canada. My life before the Empower Network uh, sadly can be summed up in one word. It was survival. Get a job like my parents told me to do, move out like my parents told me to do, and survive off that, that check from week to week, right? Get paid every second week, and then survive off that same paycheck to the next second week. As long as you show up every single day, everything's good, and you're gonna survive the next 40 years. The exact feeling I get when I think of that old lifestyle that I used to live and thinking about me carrying on that lifestyle, it's scary. It really is, because if I couldn't put up with a year of that lifestyle, how the heck was I supposed to live happy for 40 years? How was I supposed to live satisfied with the decisions I made for another 20 years, never mind another 40 years? The one event in my life uh, that really changed me, it's something that I, I don't ever touch on, it's something that I really don't share with a lot of people. Uh, it was the moment that I, I actually walked into my house and I, I caught my stepfather smoking crack. And this is someone who was my definition of success. And that's why it scared me so bad because this is someone who had a very well paying job. This is someone who had a house. This is someone who, who paid off his car and he, he, and he, and he had, a, he had a, a, a girlfriend, almost a wife, right? And, and to me that was like, well this is what I'm heading towards. This is what I would like to see in my life because that's the definition of success. After I seen my stepdad smoking crack, and after having my whole definition of success obviously flipped around, had my whole world flipped upside down, um, that's what led me into the personal developing stage of my life. That's what led me into knowing that there's something else out there, that there's gotta be more than following his path, doing what he was doing to be where he is. Because let's be honest, that's not where I wanted to be. That's not where anyone wants to be. I'm very thankful for actually having that happen to me, actually seeing my stepdad doing that. Because if I didn't see that, if I didn't take the steps to go out there and develop myself, I wouldn't be open and receptive to an opportunity like Empower Network. I wouldn't be open, open-minded open enough to see the vision of what can actually be created. I wouldn't be here right now. Getting into the home-based business industry for me, it looked like basically my own job. Instead of me responding to Bob or Joe, whoever the heck my boss was that month, um, I was responding to myself, but I was still doing the things that you would do in a job. It's, it's enough to kind of wrap your head when, when I say that I got out of MLM the same reason why I got into it because I was looking to live this free life, looking to travel. Even if that was the only way, even if that was the only way for me to be successful, I was willing to do it. I still called 200 people. I still talked to my whole family. I still talked to random people at the mall knowing that if that was the only way for me not to have to go to a job, to not have to follow that shitty 40 year plan, that heck, I was willing to do it. I was willing to do anything. The turning point for me from going from network marketing to getting myself out of that and onto the online space was the first time I decided to go out and travel and move to a different part of Canada, um, my whole team fell apart. Every single person that I brought into network marketing, just as quick as they came in, they left. The whole thing crumbled beneath me. I found myself living in a place in BC where I didn't have a job, uh, where I obviously didn't have my income from my MLM anymore, which was pretty minimal. Um, crumbled all beneath me and I was left with $700 cash and uh, and informed about this event. It was actually the Empower Network event in San Diego. I was willing to go down there with my last $700 to get in front of people like A. Rashkin, Lawrence Tam, Tony Rush, or David Wood. I was willing to go down there, spend my last $700 and I did what 90% of people in business aren't willing to do. I slept in my car. I drove down because I only had $700, I wasn't gonna pay for a hotel, that seemed stupid at the time. I slept in my car, I packed a cooler full of food, ate out of the cooler, and I parked at a beach. To be honest with you, I lined up every morning to shower with bums. It sounds stupid, it kinda sounds unbelievable, but it's what I was willing to do. I was willing to go down there and do these things to get in front of Tony Rush, to get in front of Lawrence Town, to get in front of these people that were doing what I was looking to do. When I got to San Diego, when I got to that Empower Network event, I, that was the moment when I, when I knew I was certain. I knew there was no going back. I knew there was no stopping me at that point because these people were doing it. it. It broke that gap between me seeing these people on the internet and doing this stuff to now seeing them in real life, to hearing this story in real life. I really got to connect with these people and, and a few of the things that they were saying and that's really what it took for me to be confident enough and be certain enough that I could set my intention, set a goal like actually coming to Thailand, living a lifestyle, a $30,000 lifestyle for $3,000 a month and getting here. You know, and I set that intention with zero leads, zero sales and zero experience. 
that's something that takes courage. That's something that a lot of people aren't even willing to go out there and say because they're scared of failing. They're scared of not reaching that goal. But I seen enough at that event that I was certain that I knew that I was going to achieve these things no matter what it took. No matter what it took, no matter what I had to do, I knew I was going to be here to celebrate my birthday in December. Dakota, what do you, what do you think, man? Yeah, I, I can see you're just super pumped right man, now. I, I got to say, I literally just hit pure bliss and, and it's not stopping. But you know what I just realized, guys? Driving back here, I literally just it clued into me that not only is this possible, but I'm actually going to do this. And not only that, I don't have to live in Canada. I love Canada. It's great. You know, December snowboarding is awesome. But by December this year, I'm going to move to the Philippines. You know, maybe it'll be Costa Rica. You know, I maybe it'll be Thailand. But I'm telling you guys something, it won't be North America. And I'm going to move to wherever the hell I want to on a beach in a house. 19 years old and I'll be there for my 20th birthday December 26 2012 I will live in a house wherever I desire wherever I desire and I don't care what it takes I don't give a shit what it takes I am gonna crush this out and I am gonna go hit my goals by December this year you know what you guys might catch me on stage in Austin sharing this video about me setting my intention right here right now September 24th 2012 of what I'm gonna go and create, and I'm gonna do it. Look where I am, Phuket, Thailand. My birthday's in four days from now. That was my goal, that was my intention, and look where I am, thanks to the Empower Network event in San Diego. I wouldn't have been able to earn just shy of $7,000 in 60 days. I wouldn't have helped the amount of people that I have. I wouldn't be living in Thailand if it wasn't for the Empower Network. And if it wasn't for how easy they actually make it, to go out there and bring yourself online and start earning and, and generating results as quick as I did. Someone who had zero experience, zero sales, zero leads to now being where I am in just 60 days. To get to where I am in just 60 days, what I did was, was simply do exactly what they said. I listened to the people that brought me in, I listened to my upline, I listened to the training and information that Dave put together in the 15K formula in the Costa Rica and, uh, and I applied those things, that's it. I never went out there and read a secret book, I never went out there and talked to the secret mentor. I simply did the exact same things and used the exact same resources as everybody has access to. If I knew Dave Wood and Dave Sharp are watching this video right now, I would sincerely thank them. I would sincerely thank them for allowing myself, a 19 year old, to retire, to go and live this lifestyle in Thailand, to be able to help countless people, to be able to live this lifestyle that I define as success to be living this every single day. To, I, I would thank them for making it so easy. I would thank them for, for putting everything together, for, for allowing me to leverage the work that they've done to get here right now.